Today, we're going to talk about the top three skills that I think you should focus on as you move forward with your technical understanding, not just of crew AI, but technology in general. Now, the way I came up with these topics was after I had a conversation with a very intelligent, very driven individual who I saw was making a lot of progress in the crew AI projects. One of the things they asked me was what was the next step or what things they should focus on as they improve their AI knowledge base. Now I took a moment to think about this and I kind of looked back on some of the other one-on-ones and some of the other people that I had collaborated in the past. And the three things I came up with was databases, API integrations, and webhooks. And right now I just want to talk a little bit about why I think this is important for you to focus on instead of you know trying to go out of your way like i've emphasized before that i don't think it would be a good idea for you to start from scratch start learning from python taking nothing but python classes or nothing but machine learning classes don't get me wrong those skills and that knowledge is useful in order to understand the bigger picture of ai as it's implemented but from what i've seen i would say about 99 percent of you aren't necessarily trying to get involved with ai but rather most of you want to use ai technology in order to improve how fast you can learn and how fast you can implement these technologies either to create that project you've always been wanting to make or launch and deploy that app that you know you're trying to pitch to a company or to investors and let me just say it makes me so happy to see how many of you are learning as quickly as you are I've talked to people that have been doing technology for less than a year, maybe only a few months, and you guys just really hit the ground running with AI and crew AI to the things that you've been making. And I just think that's great to see. So back to what we're talking about, let's start with databases. So you need to learn databases because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you're making something with ChatGPT or crew AI, at the end of the day, you want your input, your question, whatever you ask it, that's gonna give you an output. That output, if it just fades away, if you lose that conversation, if you lose that data, that data basically becomes useless because it was non-existent. So the concept of databases, which is again, just that storing data becomes important for you to apply in the long term for any project or application that you end up building out. So even though it's true that, yeah, AI makes it super easy to apply queries for databases. If you spend some time making some small projects, even if it's deploying local databases and you work towards figuring out how you can connect, let's say your crew AI project to a database, that'll be super beneficial for you in the long run. Because again, this is one of these problems that's gonna keep coming up no matter what application, no matter what project you end up building, at some point, if you wanna scale it, you're gonna to have to connect it to a database. And that would be a lot more challenging if you're just not familiar with how databases work. And speaking of connecting to databases, that brings me to my next point, which is API integrations. And just to give you a clean cut example that I know you'll be familiar with, earlier through a lot of these tutorials, we've been working with Core AI projects. These Core AI projects, you've had options to either link them to, you know, your Grok API key, to your OpenAI API key, and that sort of stuff. And again, that's so that your Core AI project can make requests through OpenAI's technology. This might not be the best example, and it might be a little bit simplified because API integrations tend to be a little bit more difficult than this. But yes, this is an API integration because you're connecting the services provided by one app to the services provided from another app. And as you're building out these Core AI projects, I'm sure a lot of you don't plan on just leaving the crew AI by itself. No, you wanna link it to other applications. You wanna link it to other services that you've been using. You wanna link it to other technology so that you can leverage the strength that comes from running an AI crew. But again, this is a skill that you're only gonna be able to develop by applying it. And similar to databases, you're only gonna get better until you start applying it, implementing it in your projects. And though it might be a little bit of a headache starting off with, let me tell you, if you're able to get good at this, that's really gonna set you apart from other people, no matter how technologically savvy you think they might be. API integrations are always gonna be a pain and that's always gonna be a valuable skill, especially now that technology is becoming that much more readily available and user-friendly to larger and larger populations. API integrations is becoming and is gonna be the next big thing because again, all businesses, all services want to link this one app to this other app. And again, because you are moving forward and learning quickly and using AI to teach yourself about technologies, it's going to help you boost your skill that much more. And as you've learned to link these systems together, again, like let's say, for example, Core AI with your open AI API key or, you know, your Core AI project with a database, then we come to the concept of webhooks. Now, if you've worked with other technologies such as Zapier or Make, I'm sure you've heard the concept of triggers or maybe even webhooks themselves. And this is fundamentally the same thing that we're talking about. 
But from this perspective, because again, you've gone out of your way to build this Cray AI project, you've gone out of your way to learn how to link it to a database, you've gone out of your way to learn how to deploy it and host your application, which again, you've been able to do very quickly because you've gone out of your way to learn these technologies. Well, the concept of webhooks is going to come in handy because basically you're going to be building out these triggers from scratch. Now, I'm sure you've come across issues with some of these other applications such as Zapier Make where maybe they didn't have the option for using a certain application, or maybe they just hadn't integrated with one of the systems that you use right now, and that probably caused a bit of a headache. This is definitely gonna be the case if you have your own application, your own project that you've deployed there, because it's not a large scale application, they probably don't have a way to integrate with it directly. But if you look through their settings, I'm sure you've seen the option to add a custom webhook. So because you're hosting your own application with your own database, this is where you get the option to build out your own webhook. And again, just to put in simple terms, a webhook is simply a custom URL to which whenever you make a post request, it's going to trigger a specific set of actions or methods. Now, within the context of our create project, we could potentially create a webhook that whenever a user submits certain data, a post request would be made to this webhook, which would then trigger our query AI process to you know, use the agents to process that data and then post it to our database. Now, I know the conversation maybe got a little bit too technical, but I did feel the need to convey this message to you guys because again, a lot of the feedback that I've been getting from you guys is very valuable to me because it helps me know what kind of things I should focus on teaching about. Now, that doesn't mean that I want you all to wait until I make a tutorial for you to start learning about it. In fact, it's quite the opposite. I really love how a lot of you are spending so much time, you know, researching a lot of the things on your own before you come up and ask me the questions about the things that you're having trouble with. And with that being said, I do plan on making content around these concepts because again, as the crew AI projects expand, as these, you know, AI technologies and these AI apps that we're making get bigger and bigger, we are going to have to get a little more involved with some of these, you know, custom ways of developing software. So if you are someone that as you're learning more about technology, you know that you're falling in love with it, you know that you would like to keep working with technology, I would recommend trying to build projects for your portfolio around these core principles. And just the same if you're someone that's trying to build out a product that you're trying to sell either to investors or to another company, I would say if you're working to hire a group of developers, try to make sure that they have experience in these key disciplines because if you are building out your AI product, they're going to bring to you a lot of value if they're able to help you link your application to other products. If you have any questions for me or you would like some one-on-one -on -one time to discuss some of your ideas or some of the projects that you've been working on, you know where my Calendly link is. It's right in the description. And if for some reason that doesn't work with you because you're in a different time zone, just shoot me a message on Facebook or Discord and we can figure that out. It's actually very few people that message me that are anywhere near my time zone. And let me know in the comments, what are some of the core disciplines that you think are important to learn in this age of AI? Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.